As the coronavirus pandemic began to spread and the lockdown came into effect, the Grimsby Institute of Further and Higher Education had to adapt and adapt quickly. Hardware was distributed to learners and staff members so they can teach, learn and work from home. Support channels were created on Microsoft Teams to help everyone's mental um, and social well-being. We created an Office 365 community called Remote Support. This was used to distribute instructional videos so that we could ease the transition to everyone working from home. We did not only use Office 365 Jammer for our remote support community, but we also had videos distributed such as Motivational Mondays and Deborah Gray's Captain's Logs. We found that these raised morale and were much better than email as you had more of a human connection, which was much needed during lockdown. Morning team, it's lovely to see you. I'm wearing my uh, Starfleet uniform in celebration of my first captain's log from home. I've been in a lot of Teams meetings um, over the last week and I've been nosying at what people have got in their house. So this is my conservatory. It's a bit like through the keyhole. Um, I hope you had a really, really great weekend. It was my birthday on Friday uh, and I promised myself I'd eat my body weight in garlic bread. I feel like I let myself down a bit. It turns out my body weight isn't that much anymore. So I'm a bit of a lightweight. So I've gone from being Mr. Creosote, shout out to all the Monty Python fans out there, um, to being a, a genuine featherweight in the garlic bread steaks. Um, I've recorded the log today because I've, I'd like to see you, hey? Um, and I'll also send it out on email as well. So Jill emailed you back end of last week to let you know that as the partnership, we'd been the third best in the country. Um, I'm proper, proper proud of that. Giphy on its own is the second best in the country and that doesn't happen by accident it happens because you work hard every single day because you always give extra and I am so so proud of you thank you so much for that um, congratulations also to Deb Miller who gave an inspirational presentation for the blended learning consortium um, at very short notice actually well done Deb um, and she's also presenting on Tuesday to the Association of Colleges so that everyone in the country can see what we do. Um, what's really lovely from my point of view is that despite how busy we are, despite how stressed we've been, despite the logistical difficulties we've had in moving online in with four days notice, other colleges are coming to us for help and we're still finding the time to help them. And I think that sums up really who we are and what we do. Lambing Live, run by the animal care team, allowed the learners to get real experience, even when locked down at home. Hello everybody and welcome to Animal Care live streaming. So just a quick introduction just to show you what we're going to be bringing to you over Easter. While we're not um, hounding you too much in terms of lessons we thought we'd put a few bits and bobs on just to keep you um, visiting the page uh, and so that we can check in and make sure that you're all okay. Hopefully you're all at home staying nice and safe and you're all still nice and well. All right, so first thing we're going to be bringing to you is lambing live. So this is going to be from a Lincolnshire herd of sheep um, that are kept quite locally to me on the walls. Um, we're, there's about 300 in this herd of sheep and every one of them will be um, hopefully lambing. So um, we've uh, had it agreed that the, the camera will go up to the lambing shed every now and again, maybe every other day. I know it depends on um, how much they need to go up. Um, but the lambing will be shown to you live. It might be that you've got um, ewes there actually lambing at that particular time. So you may see lambs born or it may be talking to the shepherd about how he actually cares for that herd of sheep as well. So absolutely brilliant for Easter. So check in for that. The other thing that we're going to bring to you as well. The media department run virtual exhibitions opposed to physical ones. These are recorded through Microsoft Stream distributed on Office 365's Yammer and email. This meant that the learners' final assessments could still be graded and displayed as if they were still working on site.
We also posted the Digibytes videos onto the remote support Yammer community. These videos helped our colleagues teach, support and work from home. We also tried to put a bit of well needed fun into these videos. Episode 6, Messaging Students to Complete Assignments in Canvas. Good morning colleagues and welcome to another episode of Innovate Breakfast Digibytes. Today, as it's Friday, I thought I'd come to you from my garden. Um, thank you. And um, today I'm going to be showing you assignments in um, Canvas and how you can chase students who haven't submitted to them. So it's really important because obviously you've spent the time. We asked programme leader Penny Connell about her experience managing and teaching while locked down at home. Um, I think the thing I think to take on the counselling students um, one of the things we do particularly on level three counselling is they do what we call trio work so that is where they practice their counselling skills in a um, sort of role playing scenario so you have a counsellor you will have a client and then you will have observers and clearly going to remote that is a bit of a problem um, so we needed assessments and we needed to get these assessments in quickly because, you know, the course had, um, I was sort of getting all their written work in first and delivering that. And then I thought, OK, now I've got to now I've got to solve this problem. And I reached out to Innovate and said, right, this is my issue and this is what we've got to happen. So they showed me teams which I've never really used before and um, showed me how to use Teams, Elaine did, and the recording facility, how I could create chat rooms, um, how I could go in and out of chat rooms, and it was absolutely fantastic. And because they record, could record it, it was so much more efficient because I could go back and observe all sessions and give feedback. And if I'd seen a session, I thought I can pass this, I could pass it. Whereas in the classroom scenario, we have several classrooms. I go in and out of classrooms, but there's no way I can possibly check what's going on in another classroom. Um, so that was really useful. I know when I first, for the first time I used it, I must admit, Elaine was an absolute angel because I'd be on Teams going, I forgot to say this doesn't work. And she'd be like, it's OK, Penny, calm down. We can do this and we can do that. So she was very instrumental in setting that up. Um, showing me how I could create links in Canvas. So now, now the level one learners have one link, lesson link for all of their lessons, maths, English and main programme. And they have one link so they can go on their Canvas page. There's the team's link with their remote timetable and they know exactly what to do, where to go. And, and, and the tutors are the same. These were just a few examples of how the Grinsby Institute adapted to working and teaching from home. I hope you have enjoyed the video.